episode 3C of chapter 5, um, we're going to be talking about the um, variation of parameters and how this will help us. Uh, so suppose we have this linear second order differential equation. And we know a we have our comp our complementary solutions or the fundamental solutions, right? Uh, y of c c one y two plus c two y two. Uh, this is called complementary because it's the complementary homogeneous solution. But uh, let's not worry about that now. Um, so we obviously are going to so what we're going to do is you're going to say okay our particular solution is going to be um y2 or y oh these are these are wrong the numbers are wrong at least uh, this should be a one essentially this is going to be some parameter y1 plus u2 y2 Right. So, next thing we want to do is well, we're going to take uh, so let's take the first derivative, and we can apply the chain rule here. Plus u one y one prime plus u uh, two prime y two plus u two y prime of two. So now. Uh, since we can pick whatever you we want, right? Pick any u. We're gonna pick u one and u two such that um, u one prime y one plus u two prime y two is equal to zero. Gonna just make this this pick here. And what is that? What is that gonna give us? What is that gonna leave us with? Um, well, that is going to uh, cause where is let's so let's take this and we can find that in here. Uh, y pr or prime there. So these basically cancel out. We said they're equal to zero. So we are left with y uh, the first derivative of the particular solution is equal to u1 y1 plus u2 y2 prime and then both of these are prime so um next up well we're going to take this second derivative so um all the way up here Plus, uh, this one, plus u one prime all right so now what can we do from this uh and now what we want to do is we essentially want to plug in y prime so we're going to go y prime plus p y uh or we want to plug in our particular solution into our, our, our equation, right? So um, when we do that, uh, things are going to start getting a little bit hectic here. Um, essentially, what we get is, um, okay, let's think about this. So we get, uh, I'm just going to copy these. Oh, look at that, it's uneven. Um, I'll, I'll write it down. So u1, u double prime y1, y prime plus u2. u1 y1 plus and then q u2 y2 and then all equals three 
Um, now, both y1 and y2 are solutions um, to this equation. So what we want to do is you can actually rearrange this. Uh, we're going to do some rearranging. So uh, let's find this y double prime. And uh, this is going to turn into, um, so we start moving, moving things around. This uh, uh, y2 prime, uh, so we have u2 or start with u1 and y1 double prime plus p y1 prime plus q y1 um, plus u2 y1 double prime plus p y2 2 prime plus q y2 um, plus uh, um, we are missing okay here we go u1 y1 plus u2 y2 prime and I think that's it um, is equal to g now remember these were our complementary solutions so these are actually zero right because of our of the way our y's um, um, cancel so we're essentially left with this um, and basically what we can do from here uh, so um, essentially what we can do from here is we can actually basically just say okay u1 prime y1 prime plus u2 prime y2 prime is equal to g okay that's good um, so what uh, what is the next step so what are we going to um, do well uh notice how we have this y prime and i already wrote down this equation here in terms of u prime so uh if we bring both of these in right uh we, we end up with this system of equations so u prime y1 plus u2 prime y2 equals zero u1 prime y1 prime plus u2 prime y2 prime equals g all right all right so this is a system of equations so what do we want to do so let's just solve okay u1 prime is equal to negative u2 prime y2 over y1 we plug that in and we get um, u2 prime y1 prime minus y2 prime y2 um over y1 equals g and uh, i'm just going to multiply it by y1 um and what's that going to give us so we get u2 prime equal uh, is y1 y1 prime minus y2 y2 or y2 prime equals g y1 now why did i do that why did i multiply by one one here well that's because this equation this should look familiar to you this is the ron skin or ron skin of our complementary solutions so or of a fundamental solution set this is the ron skin so we can essentially solve for y2 Yes, so u2 prime is equal to g y1 over uh, the Ron scheme. I'm just going to do that with a w. Right, and so um, we can do the exact same thing for um, our. Uh, actually let me let me double check and make sure okay no that makes sense um it's not the negative ronskin this is the ronskin right so 
Um, so we can pretty much do the exact same thing for U1 as well if we did it the other way. And if we did, what we're going to find is that um, uh, once we do this, and then obviously we can take, we just integrate both sides. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to end up finding that uh, we have these equations. So we get U1 is equal to negative Y2 of G over the Ronskin dt and u2 is equal to y1 of g over the wrong skin dt and so when you go back to our when we go back to this equation we find that our particular solution is equal to y2 oops y2 uh, times the integral of y1 g over the Ronskian minus y1 integral of y2 g over the Ronskian. Um, so this is the general way to go about solving these. So we don't have to use those uh, guesses like we did in the other method. Um, and this method is, it's a bit more cumbersome, but it will work more, uh, it will work uh, more often than the other web method. So keep that one in mind, and we'll go ahead and think about, uh, yeah. So uh, that's basically it. Uh, this, this video was a bit long. Um, and yeah, so... This, this can help us. Um, we, this actually, uh, one thing to, yeah, so because if you notice, um, we didn't take P and Q here to be constants. And also, we could have even just had gone back and had like a, like an A or something, or not, not a constant, but maybe like some function F, right? Um, this method will work because we didn't make any assumptions about the coefficients. And make uh, this will allow us to uh, solve more complicated so uh, other equations that are have non-constant coefficients. So we'll look into uh, maybe some examples of that later. Thanks for watching. Okay, what do I do?